I guess so I'll go ahead and get another deck for you. Uh, this here is my budget, I guess you could say, Mega Frieza deck. Uh, right now it's the most popular leader to use as far as meta-wise goes, because it's just very generic and makes using extra cards super easy. But uh, this build is going to be just blue and yellow. I do have all the green cards to add, except for the tournament promo Super Saiyan 2 Gohan that's like 60 plus dollars a piece right now, and I cannot afford those, and I have no local place that does tournaments, and even if they did, they probably wouldn't get tournament packs in, so I'm kind of screwed out of those, so I have to build this, but it's still a fun deck, and if you're someone that can't get tournament promos, then I guess this would be for you. Alright, so starting out with blues, we have a 4 Majin Buu, a staple for blue, so if you play it, play it. We got 3 Bulma God Tempter. We have 4 of Manaka. Uh, this just got really popular with the Frieza lead, so if you're playing Frieza, play four of these, try and open up with as many of these as possible. Uh, this helps you self-awaken and draw at the same time, so it's basically you get a free draw too. It's really good. And we got four Whis Crision, this Attack Negator. Three Sensu Bean. Uh, not really enough space for four in my build specifically, but you can always work around that if you want to play four. We got Four objection. Uh, just like Manaka, this is really good. Turn one with Mega Frieza because you can make it only cost one. And if you open up multiples of these, then you can just play all of them. So it's really good. Next is four Beerus. Uh, I can't remember if the tricolor really uses this that much, but if you can't use green, then this is pretty much your version of Gohan. It's still an amazing card regardless, but yeah, that's one of your win cons. We have three of the Whis to go with the Bulma. And that is it for blue, so now for yellow. We have four Gildos. I know this is not a Ginyu deck, but you can still use Gildos effects with uh, Frieza's effect, I believe it is. Yeah, it's Frieza's army. That's how it works. So, Gildo is pretty much the best blocker that you can play in this deck, and his effect is just too good, so why not? We got four of the 10k draw, the staple. Two Mecha Frieza's. This is another game ender. I don't. This specific build didn't really have space to play four, so I think two is just enough. I'm trying to end the game with that if you can. Next we have four Cold Bloodlust. If you're playing yellow, you gotta play this. It's it's just too good. It's almost like an attack stopper, technically almost. Stops a lot of stuff. Save it for when you need it though. Uh, we got four Crusher Balls. Again, this card is freaking amazing. It's basically an attack negator, so if you can play it, there you go. And last for yellow is just one copy of Bad Ring Laser. So if you end up playing against other yellows, this is really good. If you're going for game and they are forced to use a counter like Wheat's Crusion, then do that and they're screwed. Last two cards is the Combo Chompa. Uh, this does not have double strike and you don't honestly have that many cards. All you really have is Beerus and the Mecha Frieza as your big guys, and they aren't even SPR. This is a, like, like I said, this is a budget build right here. So, with this, uh, if you're attacking with your leader, uh, if they have, like, two or three lives, then they probably won't even bother getting around it. So, surprise them with that. You win. Good job. Alright, that's it. I will see you guys later.